Google's viral AI image generator is amazing, as everyone's saying. So here's a quick, simple guide to Nano Banana and the five things it's really good at. We're going to make images, edit existing images, combine images, use the same person or object in multiple images, and take styles from existing images to make new ones. And these are actually the main basic skills of using AI image generators in general, and they work really well here. By the way, if we haven't met, I'm Will. I teach social media, content marketing, and AI. Follow me if you want to learn about that. So first up, making images from scratch. Just go to gemini.google.com, sign in with your Google account, and describe the image that you imagine. The trick here is to be really specific. Subject, action, setting, and style. It loves that detail. So instead of a dog, you'd say, a corgi surfing a huge wave in Hawaii with cinematic lighting. It even handles text pretty well, so you can make posters, graphics, even diagrams like this, and they look really good. Next, editing your own photos. Upload any picture and tell it what you want to change. You can remove stuff, swap things around like backgrounds, or just drop in a whole new object. Unlike other tools, this is great at preserving the rest of the image and not mangling it, which does make it great for non-designers doing quick edits. Next up is combining two images. I could give it an image of myself and a shirt like this and tell it to put the shirt on me. Or here I've got an image of a ballerina and a cat and I've said I want to see the cat and the ballerina dancing together. Consistency is another big feature. This is particularly useful for casting the same model or putting the same product in different shots. So here I've got a picture of one of my books and I've asked it to put the book on a coffee table full of liquor bottles. It's done exactly that, again, without mangling the book or its contents, which is very impressive. I think part of this is down to the fact that it just has really good spatial awareness. And you can see this when you do things like what I did here, where I asked it to create a top-down 3D render of this room. And you can see it really understands the objects that are in the room and applies those to this detailed plan. It's really good. And then the style transfer, where you take the style of one image and apply it to another. This is a common thing that you'll want to do. Sometimes I'll just go and browse Unsplash and look for photography styles that I like and then apply them to another. So here I've found one. I think this is a really lovely portrait and I'm going to apply it to a picture of me in my office and it's really beautifully transferred that across. 